Hi guys, it's been a few weeks since I've done a non-Star Wars uh, video, and as you can see here, I have a, a box of awesome from Pop Culture, an online store, or well, they actually have bricks and mortar st stores here in Australia as well, but I ordered these online. First time I've ordered from them online, and I um, was pretty happy with the results. If your order comes to over $100, you get free delivery, so that was very handy. Uh, so like I said, non-Star Wars, uh, a few NECA figures. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've prob probably already seen pictures of these figures. This footage is from, uh, when was it, three or four weeks ago when I originally received these figures. I'm only just getting around to making a video on them now. And um, as you can see here, this is a Alien vs Predator figure, the Ancient Warrior. So that is from a flashback scene from the movie. And then another figure from that flashback scene is the Temple Guard. Two very, very cool looking figures. Despite what you think of the film, I think the uh, predator, predator designs are pretty cool. And then last up, I picked up... Well, I said I was only going to collect the creature sort of figures from the uh, Aliens and Predator stuff, but uh, I ended up getting this Ripley figure uh, when I was browsing Pop Culture's uh, figures online, I came across this and I thought, oh, that's pretty cool it's from, uh, obviously, when she suits up at the end of the film, spoiler, spoiler alert, and uh, kicks the alien's ass. So, I'm going to unbox Ripley in this video, and then I'll give you a look at the Predators in another video so here's a bit of a closer look at the packaging it's pretty standard NECA aliens packaging it's got all the uh, or at least some of the people involved with the development on the bottom and then on either side of the box there's a uh, figure a uh, picture of the actual figure And on the back is more pictures of the figure, and then I guess a a, a synopsis of the movie, not a character description. All right, I've cracked this thing open, and I'll give you a quick look at the accessories. And she does come with a kitty cat, Jonesy, and finally got this to focus. And yeah, I guess it looks all right sort of looks like a cat actually has a bit of articulation there's tail articulation and neck articulation but um, he's permanently posed in that arch back hissing pose and then she also comes with the harpoon gun type thing I guess it's a harpoon gun it's been done really well I think it comes with a couple of harpoons and I, I'm not sure if they're meant to go all the way in like um, that shaft is meant to go all the way down or not I'll have to look into that so there's like a closed version of the harpoon and then, obviously an open version of the harpoon. It all looks pretty good. And then she comes with her compression suit helmet. And, well, the detail on the whole suit is amazing. But, um, whoops. And then uh, the detail on the helmet is no different to the rest of the suit. It's really fantastic does come in two parts the top half splits off that sculpted detail though is amazing and from what I can remember it looks pretty accurate to the uh, the on-screen suit Alright, here is the figure itself, and like I said, uh, the suit 
has amazing detail in it. The head sculpt is, I think it's not too bad. It's not spot on to Sigourney Weaver, I don't think, but it's it's pretty good. I I like it. It's pretty damn close. And there is that suit, so it's got that rubber or softer plastic thing on the front. You can see all the shoulder armor and the backpack and it's got all the hoses and the the taps that they don't swivel. There's not a lot of paint going on. There's a few uh logos here and there that have been done really well. I don't know if they're transfers or, or what they are. You can see the straps are done in, it's not all the same colour, and there's even uh, those little symbols on the tips of the uh, the gloves, pretty cool. So it's sort of, it's not all the same white, there's, the straps are done in more of a dirty off-white, the suit in general isn't like a pure white, it's more of an off-white as well, but there's, there's various shades of white I guess you could say throughout. You can see like the shin pads are a slightly different colour. Those bits that wrap around the upper thigh are a different colour. And they've reused this body for uh, a few other figures. There was a, I believe they released a Dallas figure and a Kane figure. The Kane figure looks really cool. It's got the, the uh, helmet, just going through a bit of articulation here. The uh, the helmet on the cane figure has the uh, the hole melted hole in the front where the the face hugger um, got him, so that looks really cool. Didn't mind picking up one of those, and then there was a Dallas as well, and they've all been painted differently. They're not uh, white like this, and then I think they did a Lambert as well. So if I can find them at a um, that's in price, I wouldn't mind picking them up. So the articulation. Apart from the hips, is is fairly limited because of the design of the suit, but I guess you'd expect that because it's a space suit. Um, but you can actually get a, a quite a bit more movement than I was expecting. Again, like given the design of the suit, you have to pop the head off to get the uh, the helmet on. Like I said, it comes in two parts, and then there's a there's a ridge on the bottom of the helmet and a a guess a, a belly in the top of the suit there that the, the ridge goes into. Um, it's a bit difficult to get mine in. Probably needs, and I still haven't done it yet, it uh, needs a bit of a trim, but uh, it still looks okay. You just pop the head back on and then put the top half of the helmet back on. There you go, one fully suited Ripley, ready to take on an alien. And then there's a couple of hoses you just need to plug into the back and they go in. They fit in nice and easy. And I think it looks fantastic. Fully suited Ripley. So that was just a quick look at the NECA Ripley in compression suit, a figure that I didn't even know existed until recently, but I'm really glad I found out about it and picked it up. And I think I just like the the design, all the design from the uh, the Alien movie. Uh, it's sort of a bit like Star Wars, that futuristic, but that's got that sort of lived-in universe type look to it. So yeah, really, really cool. And um, like I said, I'm glad I picked it up. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, let me know what you think of this figure in the comments down below. I'd especially love to hear from anyone that owns the Dulce and the Kane figures. Uh, tell me about them. Don't forget to give this video a like, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And just remember, in space, no one can hear you babble.